why me why this happens to me only why do all the bad things happen to me if you ever thought like that this story might change your life this story is about an american name arthur ash now arthur ash was a tennis player and not an ordinary tennis player he was a three times grand slam winner in the singles titles which means that he was at the peak in 1980s and one day he had to go for a regular operation and in 1983 there was some mess up happened and he got contaminated blood he was transfused transfused with a contaminated blood which resulted in him getting infected with hiv or as we all know aids and this news spread like a wild fire thousands and thousands of fan became so sad they started writing letter to arthur and arthur was getting weak so he was not replying to all these letters but he was getting every week he was getting hundreds of letters but there was this letter from a young fan that he couldn't stop himself from replying and the young fan had wrote why did god have to select you for such a bad disease arthur ash in that bad health wrote a reply which became an epic and has been posted or printed on the court of the wimbledon and this is where it can change your life too and he wrote in the letter my dear friend you see everywhere in the world around 50 million people start playing tennis out of that 5 million people actually learn to play tennis out of those 5 million only 500000 get a chance to play professional tennis out of that 500000 only 5000 get a chance to go to any of the grand slams out of that 5000 only 50 ever get a chance to play in wimbledon out of those 50 who play in the wimbledon only 4 get into semi finale out of those 4 only 2 get to final and only one gets the chance to lift the cup my dear friend when i was holding that cup i never asked god why me now that when i am in pain why should i ask the god why me have you ever counted your blessings have you ever counted the good the great that amazing things that has happened to you if you start counting them you will probably start or rather stop saying why me when something doesn't go your way